Hey, what's up guys, Sam from BSC Tech. Today's video is about a very common issue which is very annoying as well. Uh, your app is crashing and it's not uh, working perfectly on your smart TV. For that reason, I will be giving you three possible solutions. Hopefully this will help you out and uh, you will definitely enjoy this video. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so you get all the upcoming notifications directly to your inbox. So guys, so the first problem is uh, you are trying to connect with the uh, smart TV app on your smart TV, whether it's a Samsung, LG or uh, any other uh, manufacturer's TV. It does not matter. The app uh, will have the similar sort of issues and the setting page will display similar sort of uh, interface. So first thing you need to go is to go into the settings section. Always check for the software update on your TV. Going into the support section, check for the software update. And if the software is updated, then you can always come back and go to the step two. So right now we are checking uh, the software uh, update availability and see if the software is updated. As you can see, we are almost done with that. And uh, the last update was done in 4th of October and uh, there are no new updates for your smart TV at the moment. We'll come back and we will go into the main settings page. Uh, so the first part is completed guys. The second part is you should always try to connect your smart TV using uh, uh, an ethernet cable. If you use a Wi-Fi connection, uh, there is a possibility that it will have a few drops, uh, dropouts every now and then. For example, a bad weather is the main problem. Uh, the number of devices uh, is also a big concern for your uh, streaming quality. Nowadays, everybody is using Netflix, YouTube, Apple TV, uh, and uh, so many other online streaming services, which requires at least at least uh, a reasonable amount of internet data being transferred from your router to your TV. For that reason, if you are missing out on those, then you will definitely have problem. So the solution is you can always use uh, an Ethernet connection, which will uh, less likely to drop out, and you will have uh, less problems uh, when streaming. That was the second part and second solution. Now the third solution is basically you have to go into your settings page and uh, when you are on the main screen in the setting page click on the apps section. Once you are in the apps section you can come back on this page uh, which shows the different apps on your smart TV. Uh, scroll down and keep scrolling down towards uh, the downloaded apps section and once you are into the downloaded apps section you can uh, scroll down and just pick and choose the app which is not working for some reason for example this app is not working which is uh, uh, an online streaming service is called net uh, now tv so all you have to do is to hold your uh, enter button or the middle button on your uh, 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 remote control and keep holding it for uh, three seconds once you hold it for two or three seconds uh, uh, another pop-out menu will appear on your screen and that will give you different options uh, the first thing is you can check for the details uh, and uh, from here you can see that the detail is not showing any kind of error then you can always come back uh, and uh, do that again keep holding the middle button or the home button or the enter button for two or three seconds and then click on the reinstall button so once you click on the reinstall it will ask you to sign in and uh, this has happened only because uh, it's an online streaming service so you can always sign in with your username and password and then click on in, uh, reinstall the app it will automatically erase and reinstall the app and uh, then it will uh, sort your problem you can try this on a different app as you can see that uh, this is uh, another uh, uh, music streaming app uh, which is apple music and uh, you can do that with uh, that app as well you can try on different apps and most likely you will need to sign in with your accounts as uh, they are uh, uh, user protected so this is how you can sort your problem uh, when the app is crashing on your smart tv guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any problem uh, with regard to this uh, solution or these solutions you can always come back and leave your comments in the comment section below stay tuned take good care of yourself i'll see you soon Bye bye